I'm Tipei from impatientprogrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQD Q Wizards in three minutes. A wizard is a Dumbledore who obsesses about the size of his wand, what witches think of his wand, how much magic it produces, and how to wow the witches down the block. Some witch called my wand a splinter, but I shrugged it off because witches be trippin'. All right, Q Wizard. A wizard is... A specialized dialogue designed to walk the user through a complex process step by step. On a Mac, this application is called an assistant. You've seen this loads of times when installing applications because typically wizards are only used once. If your application is going to be used more than once, consider other design options for your application or tool. How it works. The whole window is a wizard and is made up of wizard pages. The window starts blank and can have the following added in. A logo, which is a tiny image that appears in the top right. A watermark, that's gonna be the big left image. The banner, that's the top top fat short image or the background image which is just for Mac users. At the bottom is the navigation buttons for back, next, cancel, and optionally help. You can have required fields the user must fill out in order to unlock the next button as we'll see in our example. All right so here is our Q wizard example file which you can also find on github and if i run it you will see it produces this wizard output with a title at the top a subtitle um, we have a Brooks banner at the top, we have a sick logo in the top right, and we have a watermark Wahlberg on the left side. <laughs> I love my jokes. So we have a simple line edit that you enter input in order to unlock that next button. If we go ahead and delete it all out, it locks back up. So once we input, then we can click next, and then that text that was in the line edit is produced in a label right here. We can click finish, and it'll close out the window. All right, so let's examine the code now. There's a lot to go over, but I'll be concise. First, I added the import QT to our regular code to print out version information for what the user has installed. Next, I create our wizard and set its wizard style to modern style right here. This is one of four different options. Unfortunately, Gandalf and Harry Potter are not options. After that, I set the watermark, logo, and banner images. They're within the try except block because PySide and PyQt5 handle these arguments differently. Below that, I then create a wizard page, set the title, subtitle, and create a line edit within it. Note the layout is added to contain and stretch the line edit appropriately. I then create a field. Fields are used to pass information between pages of the wizard. You can create them by registering them and passing in the name of the field you desire, the widget, the widget property, and the widget signal. To designate a required field before the user can click next, add an asterisk to the end of the field name. Next, I create another page with titles and a label. The label is then connected to the next button being clicked and set to the text of the line field from the previous page. Finally, I add the pages to the wizard show and run the application. Excellent work, buddy. Exercises are in the description, as well as links to the example files provided here. If you would like to see a practical application built from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons, and as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.